So this is a roll of copper, which is a fairly ductile material, and I thought I'd just kind of explore the stress-strain graph for this in a bit more detail. Now, stress is uh, measured in pascals or newtons per square metre, but when we kind of have uh, metals, they tend to have high, quite a high stress, so we often talk about things which are in terms of maybe gigapascals. Strain, on the other hand, is just a ratio of a length to the length that has no units. So what I have here then is a piece of copper, and I'd just like to investigate uh, some of the kind of the properties of this material. Now there are really kind of four key points on the graph I'd like you to think about. Uh, there's a point here, there's a point about here, a point up here, uh, and also this one at the very end. So uh, the first point that we get to is what we call the limit of proportionality. So this limit of proportionality is really the point where the material, uh, the stress and the strain stop being proportional to one another. Before this, uh, we can basically say that the ratio of stress to strain, which are these two symbols here, is equal to the Young modulus, which is E, or the engineering uh, modulus. Uh, and this is exactly where uh, this one here increases proportionally with this one over here. But there's a point here where we then start to go into some elastic behavior. And this point up here, is what we call the elastic limit. So that means the material can basically move up to its elastic limit. It doesn't behave proportionally up here, but if you take that load away, it then returns to its original length. So this one here is the elastic limit. Just beyond that, what we get to is the yield point. And the yield point is when you have such a stress that you then get a very, very large strain forming. It's a bit like a piece of blue tack when you pull it, you get to a point where it suddenly gets longer and longer and not much force is needed. So this is what we call a yield point. And then we have this region of plastic behaviour where if you take away the load, it doesn't go back to its original shape. And this happens until we get to this point here, which is often the highest stress. Uh, and this is often shortened to the UTS. And this stands for the ultimate tensile strength. And it's this point here where failure occurs. So these are the kind of the four points that you really need to know about. Often at A level, uh, the limit of proportionality and the elastic limit are pretty much the same thing. But the ones that you really need to think about is the region where a material uh, obeys Hooke's law, and we can then work out its Young modulus, or also the point where we get to this ultimate tensile strength at which it fails. So this is a kind of stress-strain graph you might get for a typical ductile material.